I've had several people ask me how to get the uh, splash screen or the boot screen on the uh, Raymarine MFDs to show um, a custom image, whether that be a boat logo or whatever you want. And it's really actually pretty simple. Um, you access that here under settings and then under this display, you'll see that the splash screen is just a uh, image file that you can um, replace with your own custom image. It defaults to a um, uh, factory Axiom uh, image. You'll see here that the maximum image size is 1280 by 720 pixels. And that's, uh, that's important because if your image file is bigger than that, it just flat out won't work. And if it's uh, not in that ratio, a 16 by nine ratio, it's gonna squish and stretch your image to try to fit the screen and it won't look right. So we're gonna go, um, my image file is not that way. So I'm gonna jump over and show you how to edit that. Okay, if your logo file is not already in 1280 by 720 pixels um, height and width format, um, if it's either bigger than those dimensions or it's um, not of that ratio, you've got to get it uh, that size and ratio. Otherwise, the Raymarine MFD will stretch and skew the image and it won't look right on the screen. So uh, mine is not in the correct format. So I had to change that. So this portion is for anybody who has that same situation. Um, I used uh, just an online image editor, uh, K-L-E-K-I dot com, Klecky or Klecky, I don't know. Um, but it's a very simple image editor. And the way you start here is go over to the right hand side of the screen. You see the little uh, document image. Click that and here's where you can set the height and width of your um, uh, image file in pixels. So we want to set that to 1280 by 720. And then you can start out with a black or white background. Um, I want my logo on a black field, so I'll make the background black for me. Um, and then click OK. So there's my 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. Uh, background and then I just need to bring my logo in on top of that so again over in the right hand side see the folder icon click that and browse to your um, image for your logo or whatever you want to use for your background and I have my Dracarys logo plus name click that gives you the option to import this image as a layer or as an image and you want to bring it in as a layer so that you can do some editing with it so as layer and then I just fit the image onto my background uh, you can see here it's um, my logo file is square so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger and then reposition it so it is centered on the field and that looks about right. Click OK. And then you can see my logo file, for whatever reason, the black background isn't actually black. It's close, but it's not actually black. And I can see where it overlays the black background. So I'm going to use um, some tools here in the image editor. Over on the right, this little eyedropper icon. If you click that, you can uh, basically sample any color in your, um, in your image. So I'm going to sample the black. It's completely black, but that's an easy way to get to it. And so now I've set my active color as true black. And go up to the top here where there's the paintbrush icon. Drop that down and select the fill, little bucket with paint falling out, the uh, fill tool. And then just hover over this not quite black color and click. And you can see that it fills in. Um, every pixel that directly touches another of the same color with black. And the reason I set it that way is because you can see down here in the R where this portion is isolated by white, the fill tool wasn't able to get to that. So you have to click that one. I also have the interior of the R on the left and the interior of the D. And all the rest of these touch the black feel up oh, except for the dragon eye click that make that totally black and then my logo has this weird streak logo file in the back so I'm gonna try to find that single wide pixel there it goes 
and get rid of that. So now that it's cleaned up and is exactly 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high, um, that's a file that the Raymarine can use and it won't stretch um, or shrink it or skew it in any way. So just go here to the upper right, the little download icon, click on that, and it will save it. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so that puts that in my download downloads folder. So then all I need to do at this point is go to Finder, go to my downloads folder. Uh, there's the file that just got downloaded. I'm going to change the name to something more meaningful. Jakaris logo Raymarine. And then I'm going to drag that to the external SD card so that it exists there. Perfect. Now I'm ready to eject that SD card and insert it into the back of the Raymarine uh, MFD so I can import that logo. Let's do that. Okay, I've inserted the SD card with the image file into the back of um, the Raymarine MFD and now we just have to tell the MFD to use that image file for the splash screen. And that's as simple as going to settings, this display, scroll down, you see it's currently using uh, the Axiom default uh, splash screen. Click that, select the SD card, and there's the logo file that we just created. And current splash screen image will be deleted. Yes, that's fine. Importing splash screen. That's it. It's done. So next time that the system reboots, let's shut it down. Oops. And then restart. There we go. Restart. It should come up. There it is. Simple as that. Hope that helped.